everybody and welcome to my channel. Now today we are going to look at how to uncurl a wild hedgehog. Now you haven't seen many of my videos up lately because I realized with a full time job and having to walk the dogs and having to do loads of other stuff unfortunately I don't get the time to actually upload every day so I've been thinking I'm probably going to start doing every weekend I'm going to put something up. Hopefully I'll be able to do, you know, every weekend I'll put up one Diablo uh, video, one League video. Sometimes I'll put up something like today, where it's literally just, you know, just a normal random video. Now, I had to put this off because I, I love animals. I love, love, love animals, like, so much. And... We were walking the dogs, my uh, best friend and I, and uh, what we do is we go to the park and we cycle, and the dogs just just run and run and run, and we stop by the river, and you know they go for water, they splash around the water, they go for a swim, and then we go back on on the track, and then we keep cycling, and then we go back. It started getting really dark. We started hearing this really loud barking. And it's about bah, 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 bah. We're like, what the heck? And Kuma, now uh, our dog. He is not, like, he is not a dog that barks at all. Um, he's more like, he's more like a howling kind of dog. I mean, he's, he's mainly husky, you know, like, he barely barks. Most of the time, it's more like, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> so, when we he heard this, like, continuous barking, we were really, really weirded out. Uh, we thought it was some you know lost dog in like really high tall grass so we started you know going and searching and, and you know we were like jesus you know we can't we couldn't see any human you know so we thought it was a dog belonging to someone um in the area that got lost so we started looking and looking and i was looking through all the big tall grass because um you know the dog could have been a small dog maybe stuck somewhere maybe scared because he felt overwhelmed by the big tall grass so I was just looking and looking and looking couldn't find anything and what was weirder was that everything was just silent like pure silent there was no more barking as soon as we got close to the area so I was really weirded out my best friend was really weirded out we were like what the heck is going on and we were searching and searching and then as we like left the area slowly and started going searching a bit farther away we hear it again and we're like ah it's over there you know we just immediately we we were like we know it's right there so we went over to the area and it got quiet again and then i see my dog i see kuma and he's there like bah, 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 again like right in front of me and he starts digging at the grass and i'm like what the heck is he doing like and then I see the, this big ball of black. And I, I got really scared for half a second. I was like, oh my god, it's a dead animal. I was like, fuck. You know? Um, and I took out my phone immediately and I shone a light at it. <laughs> I shone a light at it. And uh, it was this big ball of, of you know, spikes. It's like, I started laughing so much. If you knew my dog, Kuma, he's dumb as a post. Like, he's actually, like, so fucking dumb. <laughs> Like, I swear, he's hilarious. And what most likely happened was any every time we heard that bark, because we heard it a load of the time we, before we decided to go, because at, at the beginning when we were cycling past the first time, we thought that, like, it was someone walking their dog and that the dog was barking at us because we were cycling past. But then, you know, on the way back it happened again and it was really dark and, like, a lot of time had passed, so that's why we got concerned. We were like, oh my god, the dog's still here, like, and there's, like, no one there. So yeah, you know, he most likely found the hedgehog and kept barking and barking and barking like the whole time and trying to poke at it and trying to get it to open up and he was just being fucking stupid. <laughs> so pretty much what happened was that we started looking up a load of stuff about the hedgehogs and if we could take them home and everything. Then we were like, actually, do you know, no, because he's got like endless food here and it's like he's full of grass and greenery and everything i don't want to like you know take that away from it but then i was like i am not going home though without seeing its cute little face because i had never 
ever come across a hedgehog before in real life. I've seen loads of pictures, loads of videos, but I had never, ever, ever seen one in real life. So I knew straight away I was going to have to see its little face. But how the heck was I going to do that? It was curled up into a ball. And I didn't know where the head was even. So what I did was I started, you know, giving it a tiny little, you know, scratches everywhere and I could see where it was squirming and and then I realized it squirmed the most in a little area I was like that must be the head because he's just like please don't <laughs> so I was like aha so uh, I looked up videos on how to like unroll a hedgehog and I was like no I'm not doing that No, so yeah, um, what I did then I just went with instinct. Um, so I just picked up the little thing and I'm not gonna say anymore, I'm just gonna show you the video because it's a class video. He doesn't even give a shit man, you just got it that right spot in his back. He, 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 he likes, he clearly, not, uh, not on the ice. Sorry. He, he clearly likes that scratch in his back, but if you go a bit, a bit lower he's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> But then you go a bit higher and he's like, yeah. He's a dirty little fucker. Yeah. Go away, Shiba. Go away, Shiba. <laughs> and he's not a porcupine, he's a hedgehog. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. Hello. Look at that cute nose of yours. What? Has he got food with him? Um, I think there's a little berry stuck, uh, stuck on him, yeah. Look so female too, if you look at the uh, the setup. Oh yeah, it's a porcupine really vagina. Cute. Yeah, lovely. Hello, it's so cute. I wish I could no go nose to her nose, but I'm afraid that like you have a disease. <laughs> no, I was more like worried about the the. the uh... Oh, he can just close up again. Oh, big scratch, big scratch. He's like, she's like, yes. Look, 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 going back. She's like, oh, right there. Oh. With the porcupine whisper, man. Really animal whisperer, man. Doesn't matter what kind of animal. Oh yes, right there, right there, right there. More to the left. I love how the oh, dogs yes, are running right. around and he doesn't give a fuck. Look, look, more to the right. Oh yes, right there, right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, 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 yes. Is this the recording? Yeah. <laughs> it has so much memory. Oh, more to the left. Oh yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, that's right. Just, just a bit higher. Just a bit higher. Oh, right there. I'm right glad there. I brought my work gloves. Oh, right there. Oh, too high, too high. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Oh, yes. Oh, right there. <laughs> this that is, is so fucking crazy. This is the best day ever. This is the first time I've ever, ever met a I've, hedgehog. That's the first time I've seen one, like, uncurl. I have magic hands. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> I'm just magic with animals. Happy <laughs> <laughs> sound, put him back, her back. Throw some grass on him. <laughs> some camouflage, man. <laughs> <laughs> put, a, put a few twigs on him. If anyone comes near it, like, they'll just fucking get it. <laughs> Decent. That was awesome. You should have a nighttime TV show where you do shit like this. <laughs> and that is how you unroll a hedgehog or uncurl a wild hedgehog. Now, do you remember? I don't know if you've noticed, I was wearing thick gloves. So, what happened was I had my own gloves and my best friend had his work gloves because he doesn't actually own normal gloves. So, I put those gloves then over my own to be able to handle the hedgehog because they, they can be really, really painful to handle if you're not wearing anything obviously so if you ever ever want to try this first of all be, be very very gentle don't do anything that animal doesn't want you to do if they show signs of you know squirming away from a certain thing that you're doing to them then just don't do it that's just them communicating with you that they just don't want you to do that um, if you're unsure don't don't do anything um, if you're afraid, don't do anything. It's only if you're very, very sure 
and you feel loads of love going towards the animal. If you if you're like that, they're they're gonna be able to sense it. They'll be fine. Um, be very careful when you handle any an any wild animal. Really, um, don't be stupid where you know you tried with a, a, a more dangerous animal because oh you know it worked with the hedgehog. You know, don't be like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you want to try with a hedgehog, you come across a hedgehog the way I did, just be careful, you know, think about your safety and the animal's safety, wear the gloves, uh, be really good to the animal, and then, just like I did at the very end, just make sure that you just, you know, curl them back up and put them back exactly how you found them, and just leave them back where they were, and just, you know, go away, let them be. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys. So this video is over. So it's time for bed for me because I'm really tired from the cycle. And also, you know, I always record when it's like near bedtime because I'm retarded that way. Um. And yeah, live long and prosper, motherfuckers.